um, let's do trans check-in or trans check-in. So we like to talk about it. So if my math is correct, which it might be off by a week, but if my math is correct, today is 11 months and one week on testosterone. And so, um, yeah, we, we didn't have a, a talk show stream last week because it was holiday. Turns out today is also holiday. And so the kids are in the house. <laughs> um, that's fine. So my check-in's kind of long today because um, we have two weeks of things to talk about. So two Tuesdays ago, I underdosed myself with my tea. Um, I, I think I'd got like two like 0.21 instead of 0.25 milligrams. And so the dysphoria started a little sooner and it was just overall not great. Um, which, you know, I sort of suspected that would come. I've been, I've been consistently having dysphoria two to three days before my next dose. For those who don't know, I switched to injections, I don't know, five, six weeks ago. Um, I'm losing track of the math on that one as the, as time goes on, but um, I think I'm a little over a month on injection based tea. So, um, I've been consistently having dysphoria the two to three days leading into my next dose. So I've let my doctor know, and that may mean we need to raise my dose before, um, before that, when we meet again in April, oh, you just jump bad. You just hurt your head. Never jumped on the desk and hit her head. Um, I am getting better at doing the jab. Uh, I no longer completely dissociate out of fear and I'm actually getting sleep, um, before the night before finally. So that's good that I'm sort of getting used to it. Um, I'm having a lot of facial fluff growing in. You can see all of this, which is also causing just so much acne. My face is so hurty and tender. <laughs> just the sheer volume of acne. It's, it's gone up, um, exponentially since starting injections, um, which, you know, it just means that there's more tea in my body. The, the uptake is better. The bioavailable uptake is better. Um, so yeah, my hair is growing faster all over my body, not just on my face. Um, I had no idea I, so much hair could exist on a person's belly. <laughs> I'm just going to be a, a little furry bear at the end of all of this. I think it'll be hilarious. I started as a, a pretty curvaceous woman and I'll end up being a hairy bear at the end. <laughs> um, I genuinely think that's really funny. So anyways, um, usually the story goes the other way. You start kind of ugly duckling and then you turn into this beautiful thing, but not that bears are ugly. I'm not saying that. Um, it's just, you know, it's just a little different. It's different. Yes. Dino Corgi. I agree. Both are beautiful. You got it. You got it. Um, okay. So what else? Um, the tea hunger, that's the, that's the other main thing that I wanted to talk about just in the last week, just the last week. It's like I, I eat a meal and then I'm still hungry and it's not that I'm thirsty cause I've also been drinking plenty of water, but like just my, it's just like gone up exponentially. Like probably at this point I'm eating one and a half times the amount of calories as I used to. Um, yeah, it's a whole experience that I'm having. Um, I've also been craving mostly protein and oranges, like orange juice, navel oranges, the little, the little small sweet oranges are too sweet for me. I don't, I don't like those ones as much, but I just like, yeah, I probably, I'm probably eating like an orange a day right now. I'm just like really craving oranges. Um, so I don't know what that's about, but that's the thing that's happening. Um, and yeah, like I walked out and Capybara was cooking chicken the other day and there were like eight little chicken thighs on the grill for our little family of four. I looked at that and I said, that isn't going to be enough. And she was shocked and looked at me and I was like, yeah, I could probably eat at least four of those by myself right now. That's how hungry I am. And she was shocked again. <laughs> so we defrosted and cooked another eight and that was enough because we also have my teenage son in the house. So there's like two testosterone adolescent experiencing people, uh, two testosterone puberty experiencing people, 
and then my stepdaughter and my wife. So anyways, my stepdaughter is like also a teenager and going through estrogen puberty. Um, so it's, it's a lot, there's a lot of, a lot of puberty happening in the house right now. <laughs> uh, but you know what? We're all alive and nobody's yelling at each other. So I would say overall we're doing great. <laughs> so that's my, that's my check-in for today. Um, I know it's kind of longer. Thanks for listening. I hope you enjoyed. The cravings are real. Uh, I look forward to seeing what other cravings I get. I'm sure there will be more. Um, and if you have your own, your own tuberty cravings that you've had, please go ahead and post about it in the chat or in the comments. 